Hello everyone, welcome to another fantastic video with me. Uh, so, some of you on the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group uh, already know what this video is about. So, yesterday, I believe, yes, yesterday I posted this item and said, look what came in the mail, guess what's coming tomorrow. And the first two people that commented got it right, which really I think nowadays when you see a brayer, kind of know what's going to happen. So, I got the uh, Ranger gel printing plate. Fantastic. I'm really excited. Can't mess with it yet, though. The kids and the wife are almost home and kind of making dinner. So, can't play with it right now. But, I will be playing with it uh, in this video. So, stay tuned for that. So, uh, you guys will actually see it. Um, quicker than I'll be able to play with it. Don't even know if I'll be able to tonight, but I'm really excited. So, just wanted to share this with you because later I will probably not be able to contain myself and I'll just rip the package open and, I mean, open it carefully because I didn't buy the tin to go with it because, you know, I didn't want to. So I'm going to leave it in this for a while uh, whenever I'm done using it. But, really excited can't wait to get started. Got my brayer, got my paints. Can't wait to get started. So, uh, the first of many gel printing um, videos. Yeah, forgot what I was doing here for a second. Anyway, I'm really excited. Stay tuned. Let's see what I do on my first couple uh, gel prints. All right, everyone, are we ready? for the uh, gel plate printing. So I would assume you guys have already seen a lot of these. I'm sorry, the package is way too big for my space right now. Uh, my camera's all up in my business, and so uh, yeah, I need to figure out a better way. But um, yeah, let's just get to it. And I have not opened the package yet, as you can probably tell. Excuse me as I pop. Got it. I think I'm going to start working with the smaller two. And, uh... This one's a small rectangle, this one's a small circle, and I think I want to do some index cards. I believe these are 4x6, yes, 4x6 index cards, blank on both sides, really excited for this. So, what I've been wanting to do um, pretty much the whole day, since I knew it was going to be here today, I sat at work longingly waiting for it to show up. So, whoop, let's get some of this paint out of here. Alrighty. So, excuse my novice gel printing techniques and such. Okay, so, let's get into this. So I believe uh, if I want yellow on top of my Excuse the train going by. If I want yellow on top of the pattern, or not the pattern, if I want yellow on top of the design, um, I should, first of all, move this up. Fantastic. I should put yellow on first, I believe. So, I'm going to do this through the stencil. up now here's my question first of all gross messy let's get a paper towel up here and I will set this all over here okay now do I 
wait for this to dry, or do I go ahead and add my next thing? And what happens if your paint is more fluid, like this? Huh. Maybe you can only use, no, you can use, I don't know. I was thinking maybe you could only use thicker paint, but I've seen people use inks, like spray inks and stuff, so. All right, let's try this. Now maybe, what if I do this? If I add a little bit of, and yes, I know you're not supposed to add it directly to the thing because you might have too much medium on your plate and you don't want that, I know. But I've also picked up bad habits from people like Dina Wakely. And by bad habits, I mean the fun ones. camera okay so now let's see what this does well that was a complete fail seriously is it too wet is there too much hmm well let's keep pulling and see what happens Am I adding too much? Probably. I'm sure I've got people yelling at me. From their homes. But you know what? This is part of why I'm doing this channel. To kind of share my experience and my journey. Ah. And maybe add some humor along the way. Okay, so that's a better print. But I'm thinking... You guys can't even see it. That's a better print. Uh, at least it pulled some of this off. So what I'm thinking is, um, with this one, I used way too much. With this one, um, I had basically beat the yellow paint to death, and uh, it was not a big fan. So, it kind of flattened out. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the brayer. I'm going to add this on here again, flatten it out pretty well. And then let's go ahead and take some, I've got some little scraps here from a journal I was making. Let's go ahead and uh, clean the brayer off. Sorry, you can't really see because uh, it's off the camera, but I am literally just rolling the brayer on it. So, okay. So in case you're wondering, <laughs> that's what that looks like. All right. Fantastic. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and pull off Hmm, what do I want to do? Let's go ahead and pull this off. Cuz I think I know what I'm what I need to do. Do you have to do it in layers? I believe so. Maybe I also should have left the stencil on there. Okay, 
that's pulling off a lot nicer now, right? So, what I'm going to do is pull a ghost. Like it already. Okay. Now I know why people love this so much. It's super addicting. Okay. I'm going to leave that little bit on there. Because I guarantee you I'm going to be one of those people that doesn't clean their stuff. Okay. Let's do... A little dot, shall we? Okay. Let's go back to this one. This is the second print I pulled off. I'm going to take this. I'm going to flatten this out with the brayer. I also love this uh, little texture and just very painterly bit you get on the back here using a brayer. Okay. You know what? That's alright. That's a little. A little bit, but I want more. And I want the paint to be a bit more vivid. So. Sorry, I keep moving the camera again. It's all up in my business, so I have like a uh, a ten by maybe six inch square to work with here. That's so much better. Okay, let's take this again. Let's take this again, and let's just do a little. Let's start little, how about that? I need some more of this yellow paint. I absolutely love using this yellow. Uh, this I got on a prime deal. I believe I showed you guys before. It's um, Castle Art Supplies Lemon Yellow. Absolutely love it. It's kind of thick. Not too thick, just pretty much the right texture I would want. It's fantastic. Oh, my brain came off. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, that's nifty. How do I fix this without getting paint everywhere? Uh, why did the little thing come out? This thing came out right here. Is it supposed to do that? I feel like it's not. Uh, okay. So, oh, there we go. Got it, got it, victory is mine, okay. Let's go ahead and take this off. And we're just gonna wing it, how about that? I'm really excited about this texture in the back too, on the back, because we might get some of the super cool stencil design that was staying on the brayer. And even if we don't, look how cool that is. That is super cool. Also, I'm not very loud right now. I've got uh, 
four kids sleeping upstairs, so I'm trying to be quiet. It's bedtime. That's when I can art. Guys, I am learning. Look at that. Now, what I'm going to do with uh, this, I'm going to pull another print. <sighs> Austin, no. Yes, I am. Super excited. Oh, I'm sorry I keep moving that. Gosh. Look at that. Is that not awesome? Okay. Sweet. Also, this uh, stencil is a Heidi Swap stencil. I got it Tuesday morning. Fantastic stencil. Absolutely love it. I've had my eye on it for a while, and I was going to make one with my Cricut, and then I was like, eh. Sounds like a pain. So, I just bought it. It's pretty inexpensive. I can't remember how much it was, but I was like, well, yeah. I'm feeling that amount of lazy, so I will do it. Sweet. So you guys, oh cool, nope, didn't get anything on the back, sweet, okay. Now, let's go ahead and pick up this part. some paint over it to pick up the dried, right? Is that right, guys? I think so. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay. Sweet. And that's still not dry, but whatever. Well, that's uh, not bad for a first time, right? 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 This is already dry. Freaking love this paint. It uh, dries pretty quick. All right, that was a fun 15 minutes of you guys watching me struggle. Super cool, all right. Well, these are my uh, first <sighs> interesting um, pieces, whatever. Really excited about these two. These two still have some work and this one will just be my cleanup and it'll be super fun. So thank you guys for watching. I'm really excited to start making a whole bunch of uh, gel press videos and um, print making and uh, yeah so it sounds like my wife and the dog are back inside from feeding time and uh, yeah so it's time for me to cut this video I'm going to play some more and probably watch some TV or YouTube or something and uh, I will see you guys in another video that is my favorite. Thanks for watching, guys.